What's up, y'all? Uh, yeah. This is a video on froth flotation, the taboo version. Uh, what we're doing is uh, we're using uh, uh, what is it? A phenocreosol to float minerals. And I'm going to show you how that's done. Uh, I went and I researched how to do uh, froth flotation uh, with the lab grade cell. And the lab grade cell was $37,000. And it was unaffordable for me. Uh, so I had to do a DIY version. And I've never seen this anywhere on the internet. Uh, July 5th, 2024. Uh, I want to kind of go over how it's made. Uh, for the cell body, I used a water feature box. And it had a hole in it, and I put a plug in it, a uh, rubber plug to block the water from dripping out. Uh, I used a 4-inch puck, uh, air puck, for a fish tank. And uh, I used uh, some of these little Velcro stickers and stuck them on the back and stuck it down on the... Uh, the box and hooked it to the air hose. The air hose goes up to this manifold where I can adjust my air breather. Um, I probably should adjust it to this side. You guys want to do that with me? I'm going to close this valve and go to this valve. Now we can adjust it. Cool. It's a little bit easier on the side there. Uh, I got a 40 watt pump. They said it was quiet and perfect, and this thing bounces around and it's not so quiet, but it's enough to numb all the outside environment. So it's, it's loud enough and it's good. You can still hear my voice on camera. Uh, I got this stir stand, it's a laboratory grade stir stand. Uh, I got it for uh, cheap. And so we got our air breather with the manifold. We can adjust the airflow, and then we got our spin bar to keep the material agitated. All right, going over chemicals for froth flotation. All right, they have this thing where inside these large cells, they're just doing a giant batch and then floating it and resetting the cell, at reagiting the cell, adding more ag agents and then floating it again right now we're doing a lab style and we have to do that same process except it's on an extremely small scale it's just a tiny box it's not a huge box uh, so it does get repetitive but that's okay because we're doing good things all right so what they're doing is is they have a uh I think they call it a wetting agent. Uh, so when we put minerals on the in the water, sometimes they float up, and uh, that's because of the surface tension of water. So you'll add a drop of uh, jet dry as a wetting agent to break that surface tension. All right, and then we're going to use uh, pine saw, pine cleaner. I got a little squirt bottle here. Make it easy for me. Uh, you're going to use very little. This is going to be a pine oil. And what happens when the pine oil comes in contact with the water, it creates uh, phenylcreosol. And uh, what that does is it's an oil that uh, is able to attach to medical, metal particles and create, uh, make it hydrophobic. Uh, so it's going to float. It's going to not want to be with the water. It's going to be like an oil. Oil floats on water. It's hydrophobic. Well, it's a good thing because what I'm coming to understand is when we're coating these little medical, metal particles in this pine oil, there's also a carbon compound. And uh, instead of trying to fuse carbon compounds with uh, uh, the, the sulfide minerals using heat, you can uh, coat carbon uh, carbon compounds around the sulfide minerals uh, using this flotation method then you scoop it all out and it's coated and now it's ready to be reduced when you go to do your smelt so that's you get it's like double bonus feature here 
doing this flotation stuff. Okay, I have this mineral. This is my gold ore. Uh, looks nice. There's a few pyrites in there. Uh, <clears throat> gold in the vein. Uh, you'll find your quartz vein right there. The pyrite runs at the quartz vein. And then it's like a vagina. The quartz is the center of the vagina. That's the that's what you're aiming for. You want to find the quartz vein. And then the pyrite goes off to the side just a little bit like a vagina lip. And then the gold is all found in the vulva of the, the gold. But I didn't understand that the, discovering the ore is uh, like discovering the vagina. Now, what is really funny is... is uh, the process of froth flotation is a uh, is a sodium uh, ethyl xanthate is uh, what we're using to float this. So there's going to already be a salt inside the ore, and when we add the phenyl creosol, it creates a sodium ethyl xanthate, and that chemical compound is what floats metal. It takes a heavy metal and it floats it. It's called sex. And you have to have sex to get the gold. There's just no way around it. <laughs> but when you do the froth flotation, you'll figure all that out later on. Okay. So anyways, we're going to show you how this process is done. Um, I have a little bit of ore in there. You want to make sure your dial is turned all the way down before you turn on your machines. Turn on our air pump. Our air is off. We're going to test our air. Okay, our air is working. We're going to turn on our spinner. Oh, we're not on. Turn that dial all the way down. Or it'll flip out. Alright, what we're looking for is like a little clean whirlpool in the center there. Without it splashing. Something kind of like that. That looks good. That means it's catching some more and doing its thing. Then we'll add a little bit of air. And uh, now it's dropping. Scoop that froth into our pail before it overflows. If I had two hands, it'd be a little bit easier. I have to turn the air down just a hair. And uh, when that freaking frost runs kind of clear, then you know you got most of the minerals. I think I added a little too much pine salt. I threw the rest of the cap in there before I went and did this. But that's alright. So, for too much, you got, you're got you supposed to add a drop at a time this pine salt stuff. You just kind of... Wind it down. I'm going to have to refill our bottle. But you go in like that, and then you see it's getting kind of clear there, and then you can add more material, might bring the froth down a little bit. is a taboo DIY but this thing is working exactly how it's supposed to and uh, you can play around with chemicals to uh, what is it localize each type of metal like if you're trying to get nickel you use a different chemical uh, trying to get copper and gold you use the sex method uh, 
But yeah, it's freaking great. So then, say we need to add pine saw, like when this froth will go all the way down. Let's see if we can get it out. Spray you future Agua. Look at that pour. Oh my god, it's amazing. Down, see all that good golden froth. It's all floating. We'll hit our air up just a little bit. Trying to get it to the point where I can show you how to add the pine saw. Oh, God, that looks rich. See how it's changing color? That's our mineral back there. If you have a few boxes, then you can just switch the box out. I only bought one because I just wanted to do my initial test here. But then, what you do, it's still foaming though. You kind of want to max out your air volume before you put any pine saw in. So when we're maxed out, let's max out right there. Uh, so that's it. That's, that's kind of about all it's getting, right? So then all you're going to do is you're going to turn down your air pressure. Just like so. You're going to have that open area where it's mixing it's looking good looking good looking good and then what we're gonna do we'll maybe have it going too fast just kind of it doesn't need to be splashing but if there's a lot of ore in there you got to have it up a little bit because it's trying to stir it and agitate it all right you're just gonna put like a couple drops and you're looking for some big bubbles on the side see those big bubbles on the side that means that there's enough frothing agent then let's spray down our box with all our gold in it damn that looks like freaking solid all right and then we'll go Boom, here comes the air. You see how that's the right way. That way it's not out of control. I had to set things up a little bit. I'm go back to the beginning, now we're back here. So we're looking good. Now, there might be not enough rock in there. So now we got all our minerals that's going clear. I don't know. Add some more. All right. Let's see how good we did. Might not be enough froth or you'll get it right where you're like just 
It's like the back of your hand, you're just dosing it. So you just put a couple drops in there. Maybe have to stir up just a little better. Uh, how are we frothing now? That looks like froth. Look at that, that's what we want. That's the money shot right there. Except I got a full bucket. Okay guys. So that's it. You just turn the dial all the way down. Turn it off. Turn it off. And uh, you got all your minerals down there. You're gonna stick this into a separatory funnel. Or not or not even that, like an Erlenmeyer flask. You're gonna decant let it sit and decant the water. Uh, have a little bit of water in there so you can get it out of your vessel. It should be pretty good. All right, peace. Looking good. We're going to have some sex. Looking good. The gold looks like a vagina. Looking good. <laughs> oh, man. Why is it gotta be such a dick, man? Okay, here we go. We're gonna get it out of there. Dude, just think of this. Okay. This is the ore body. The ore body looks like a vagina. We have to get the gold out of the ore body so that we can do stuff, create something. This would be amazing. Well, to get the gold out of the ore body, you got to stick it in there. You got to take the miner's pick, put it in there. And get that ore body. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Hat Chase prospected. Fooling around. Adios.